Hello, my name is Christina Bergmann from University of Erlangen and I'm here at EULA 2023 and it's my pleasure to interview Professor Dissler um, from Zurich and um, you gave a very comprehensive talk on um, the perspectives of um, interstitial lung disease and scleroderma and um, rheumatoid arthritis and um, you brought to our attention that we start treating at an early, uh, at a late time point when some damage already arises. So what are the perspectives to improve that strategy in future? Yeah, I really think that it's important to detect uh, ILD very early, right? That we can start treatment of not at more than 20% involvement. That is really history but earlier. And how do we do? Because sometimes it's really difficult. The symptoms are coming late. Um, any even lung function change is coming late uh, when there is already a significant damage uh, occurred. And how do we do that? That's difficult because we are really, uh, at today, do not have a score, something that uh, calculates us how likely uh, an ILD is. That's why we recommend HRCT in all patients with scleroderma. And obviously, we would repeat that HRCT because that would mean we detect it very early. But repeating it by the baseline HRCT is very useful. Uh, because 50, 40 percent of the patients that are justified to do an HRCT or no, it's less justified at follow-up when the patient still can develop ILD despite initially being negative for ILD on HRCT. So we have developed the ILD risk score. That is a score that uh, was based on a large, large cohort of patients, uh, and we calculated uh, certain factors, clinical factors that um, make increase the possibility that at follow-up a patient has. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I, has ILD and justifies then also the use in HSD in those patients. And uh, the score will be published soon, I think later this year, I hope, early next year, depending on the reviews, uh, but it's in progress and uh, you will see it soon. Watch out. Yes, we are curious for see the publication.